Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and authors saving the world with the home garden. Today we're here with Matthew Fan of the California Rare Fruit Growers, Los Angeles and Orange County chapters. And Matthew is going to be demonstrating grafting for us. So thanks for being here today and looking forward to all the helpful tips on grafting figs. Let's do it. All right. Well, today we're going to work on this branch right here. It's a little bit early to graft. Um, usually what I do is I'd wait for the rootstock to start flushing um, before I graft. But um, late winter, early spring is probably the best time. Uh, one reason, at least for figs, is you won't get a lot of the, the bleeding. And then um, two, the weather is just right for you to graft. So usually um, you want to graft low and central to the, um, the rootstock that you want to graft. I'm going to take this branch right here. And for your cyan wood that you're using, notice right here, see how it's still bleeding? Yeah. So the tree is usually dormant by this time um, and it'll have less bleeding, but in the, in the spring and the summer, you know, this, this thing will be just gushing out with uh, sap. Uh, usually when you collect your cyan wood, you want uh, around three nodes. Uh, pick nodes where, you know, you see buds. So you'll see, some buds here. The the shorter the nodes, um, the better. So we'll use this for demonstration. All right. So I'll normally keep buddy tape close by, so it's easy to work with, and around my neck, so it's not getting dirty. It's uh, easy to keep track of because the moment you put it on the ground, you're gonna forget where it is, and it's gonna get dirty. So I start at the bottom, and usually, you know. I'll wrap and buddy, buddy tape stretches. You can get it from any gardening store online or you can probably get it from Amazon. I like this one a little bit better than um, parafilm. It's uh, breathable and a little bit goes a long ways. So that's usually what I do with the buddy tape. And so now I'm going to sh demonstrate the grafting part of it. So usually when you graft, um, the, the wood is uh, around quarter inch to half an inch. This tool works very great. And if you have a lot of space, then, you know, this makes grafting a lot faster. So what I do is I'll start, you know, with the rootstock. And that creates the, the cut inside. And then I cut with the sawing wood. And then you just insert the sawing wood. Into the rootstock. So I usually start low. So I can get it to catch first and then start stretching and just got to make sure that your cambiums line up so afterwards i come in with a rubber band this keeps it um pressure on the the wood so that it allows the the wood to callus over. There's many different types of rubber band. Uh, you can get, you know, your basic rubber bands from Home Depot. I like this one because it's UV re um, resistant, so it doesn't uh, deteriorate in the sun. Yeah, the nice thing about the rubber band is it's elastic. So it allows the, the sign wood and the, the rootstock to expand um, while it's healing. This way you don't girdle the tree. If you've enjoyed this lesson, be sure to give us a thumbs up and most importantly, share us with your gardening friends and family. And as always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.